Welcome to the Orientation for Employment Services. We are excited to share with you the various opportunities and support available to you and your family. Here at Social Services, we partner with the community to enhance self-sufficiency while ensuring that safety and basic human needs are met for the people of San Luis Obispo County. Employment Services, also called Welfare to Work, is SLO County's employment and training program, and it is one of the benefits you are receiving while on CalWORKs. We care about your goals, and we encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity to discover and build upon your strengths. We recognize that not all families are the same, so we want to help you create a plan that is personalized to fit your goals. We are also here to connect you with resources that will help you overcome any barriers that might be in your way. We are here to help. Participating in the Employment Services Program is a requirement of CalWORKs. If you are an adult and do not need an exemption, you must participate in either 20, 30, or 35 hours per week, depending on your family type. Your case manager will discuss your unique situation and hourly requirements with you. Let's talk about the different ways we can help you on this journey. The next step in the employment services process is your appraisal appointment. If you haven't already received your appointment notice, your worker will be scheduling your appraisal shortly. The purpose of this appointment is to learn more about you and your family, about your strengths and your interests. This is also an opportunity to discuss things like your job history or work experience and any careers you may be interested in. We will also talk about areas that your family may need additional support in so that you can be successful and continue to grow. We believe all people have strengths and we value you and your family as members of our community. We encourage you to be honest with your worker so they will know how best to support you and your family. After your appraisal, you may sign a welfare to work plan for an activity that supports your goals. However, you may have discovered a few steps that need to be taken first before signing a plan. As you start down your employment services road, we want to give you a few tips for successfully completing your welfare to work plan. Keep in contact with your case manager. Put their phone number in your phone so you always know how to reach them. Make sure to attend all your appointments. We understand that sometimes things come up and you may not be able to make it. In that case, give your case manager a call to let them know and possibly reschedule your appointment for another day. Provide proof of satisfactory progress in your activity. This proof may be different for each activity and your case manager will let you know what specific proof you need to provide. Follow your welfare to work plan by participating in your chosen activity and meet your required hours. Make sure you turn in all your paperwork on time. You can turn in documents by mail, in person, or by scanning and emailing them to your case manager. Your time on employment services is limited by California law. During your lifetime, it cannot exceed more than 60 months or five years. We encourage you to take advantage of this limited time. Five years may seem like a long time, but it can go by quickly. We offer a range of activities for you to participate in during your employment services journey. Your appraisal appointment will help you and your case manager determine which activities will best help you reach your goals. Some of those activities include earning your high school diploma or GED and learning English as a second language. We also offer vocational trainings and on-the-job work experience through our job placement program. Have you been out of the workforce for a while or would like assistance with practicing your interview skills or building a resume? Our job centers are available to provide you with resources, workshops, and guidance as you pursue your employment goals. Each job center is run by experienced staff to support you and encourage you along the way. What if I'm already attending school? When you meet with your case manager for your appraisal, let them know, and we may be able to count your school activity toward your required hours. You may also be eligible to get help with purchasing books and school supplies and paying for other school fees. You know, I've always struggled with school and sometimes with work. This may be a good time to find out if you have a learning disability and get the support you need to manage it. 
The screening is free and private and may lead to additional services. Speak with your case manager if you would like to take advantage of this service. If you or your family are facing major challenges at home, that can make it difficult to be successful at work. If you feel that you may need additional support, let your case manager know. You may be able to volunteer for the Family Stabilization Program. What can the Family Stabilization Program do for my family? Family Stabilization allows for more flexibility in your hourly requirements and provides additional support for the entire family. Are you expecting a baby or have a child under two years old? The Health and Wellness Program is a voluntary program that includes ongoing home visits or televisits from a nurse who can provide support, education, and additional supportive services to you as a parent of a young child. They can also help connect you to resources you may need for the health and well-being of your child, like furniture, safety items, cell phones, and even a Chromebook. We know that raising children is an ongoing journey with many ups and downs, and the Health and Wellness Program is here to help. One of the benefits of participating in employment services is the potential to receive additional assistance through supportive services. What are supportive services? We know that there are many contributing factors for you and your family when it comes to getting and keeping a new job. Supportive services are there to help you so that you can participate in your activity and continue on the road to success. Some of the most common supportive services are childcare, transportation, and help paying for tools or supplies for school or work. So I can get help paying for childcare while I'm on CalWORKs? Yes. While you are participating in your activity, you are eligible for a referral to childcare payments. We partner with the Child Care Resource Connection, or CCRC, to issue child care payments directly to providers. You are able to choose a provider, or CCRC can help you find a provider that meets your family's needs. What happens if I become employed or discontinued from CalWORKs? Will I lose my child care? When you are discontinued from cash aid, or you go off aid for being over income, your family may be eligible for continued subsidized childcare for up to 24 months. Another benefit to participating in employment services is help with transportation costs. Depending on your activity location, you may be eligible to mileage reimbursement or a bus pass to help you get to and from your activity. Additionally, we may be able to help with car repairs and other costs like registration. We know that there can be additional costs to pursuing your education or starting a new job. We want to make sure you have everything you need to be successful. I am taking classes at Cuesta and I need to buy textbooks. If participating in vocational education and training is part of your signed plan, we can help pay for textbooks, supplies, and even some of your school fees. I just started a new job with the dentist office and I need scrubs. Can I get help with that? Yes, we can help purchase clothing or supplies that you need for work, like scrubs, uniforms, or even work boots. Other costs we can help cover when you are starting a new job include interview clothes, background check fees, and drug testing. If you need something else we haven't covered, just ask and we may be able to help. What happens if I go off CalWORKs? When your time on CalWORKs is over, you may still be eligible for additional support for up to one year if you are working and need additional support to maintain or improve your employment status. Post-aid services include employment-related expenses, transportation costs for work, counseling services, housing support, and childcare. We know that sometimes things come up and there may be times you are not able to participate. You are encouraged to take advantage of the many opportunities the CalWORKs Employment Services Program offers. However, some people may be excused from participation. Please discuss your situation with your case manager to see if you qualify for good cause or an exemption. Keep in mind, even if you need an exemption but would still like to participate in employment services, you have the option to volunteer. When choosing to volunteer, you will have the same opportunities as mandatory participants, 
including childcare and mileage reimbursement. Participating in employment services is a requirement of being on CalWORKs if you don't meet an exemption. If you do not participate in employment services, your CalWORKs grant may be reduced through a financial sanction. Before your grant is lowered, your case manager will send you a letter to explain the pending action and schedule an appointment date for a compliance meeting. This meeting is to discuss your current participation and try to design a plan to get you back on track. Your case manager will also go over your family situation to see if you may be eligible for good cause. If you do not meet an exemption or good cause and still choose not to participate, you may receive a financial sanction. When you become Welfare to Work sanctioned, three things will occur. Your family's cash aid will be lowered and possibly also your CalFresh benefits. You are no longer eligible to receive supportive services and you lose access to employment services trainings and opportunities. How do I cure my sanction? When you are able to participate, you can request to cure your sanction at any time by contacting your case manager to develop a plan. Once you've completed the activity in your cure sanction plan, your financial sanction will end and your CalWORKs grant will be reinstated. We are here to help you achieve your goals. Speak with your case manager if you are having issues meeting your hours or participating in an activity to see how they can help you succeed. What if I don't agree with an action taken on my case? You have the right to file a formal grievance or ask for a state hearing at any time if you don't agree with an action taken on your case. Your case manager will explain this process to you. All the information in this video can also be found in your Employment Services Handbook. We encourage you to hold on to the handbook for reference and always ask your case manager if you have any questions or concerns. We are excited to partner with you on your path to employment and financial independence. At Slow County Social Services, our vision is a caring community that is safe, resilient, and healthy for all members of our community. We are here to help you grow into the healthiest and most successful version of yourself.